Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting fly fishing video. Today, we are headed to a couple brook trout ponds. Hopefully catch some nice chunky brook trout. But yesterday and last night, we had the first big freeze of the year. It snowed quite a bit in the mountains. I mean, I was fishing in snow yesterday and as you can see, there's snow outside, but it got down to like 20 degrees in the valley, single digits up higher. And I'm a little concerned that there's gonna be ice on these ponds or the fishing's just gonna be totally non-existent because a lot of times when the weather just changes that quick i feel like that can really mess them up and they don't want to eat so hopefully that's not the case today we'll just have to see so let's head to the first pond start fishing all right folks here we are at the first little pond and i don't know if you can see it but there's a couple nice brook trout just hanging out right there swimming around there's actually three of them oh and there's another one right there and another one out there there's plenty of fish in here thankfully there's no ice on the pond there is on that end however it's super shallow but thankfully the majority of it is open water so we're gonna get rigged up cast in there all right so like i said we are going to be fly fishing for these little brookies and i got some flies i want to try they were given to me by my friend parley who i actually met recently ties his own flies and he gave me a few to try out all right so check it out he gave me this little hopper and then a couple pheasant tails right there and then this green i don't even know what this is supposed to be i don't think he did either it was like a caterpillar or something i have really no idea but i can definitely see a brook trout hitting that so so i'm thinking we definitely start off with a pheasant tail that is what i have most confidence in and i really think they're gonna hit that so we're gonna tie this on so shout out to you parley thank you for these flies i think we're gonna catch some all right so i can see one two three four five six fish just right here in that little group got the pheasant tail tied on i'm just gonna flick it out there no indicator and see if they go for it they're just right here in front of me check this out oh came right over to it first cast first cast he came right over to it <laughs> heck yeah that was cool i knew it i knew it heck yeah dude first fish on the pheasant tail tied by parley first cast too nice solid little brookie i almost want to just keep this guy and cook him up on the stove right now but it's the first one so we'll let him go first little fish of the day like i said they don't get huge but they get really fat and healthy that is a cool fish right there on the pheasant tail, baby. And we will send him back. See you later, buddy. There she goes. Nice. Well, we got the skunk out of the boat. And there's still a bunch down there. And that was not the only one that went for it. I think like all of them, all five of them went over to look at it. But she just ended up grabbing it first. Oh, another one's coming over to it. Watch, watch. Oh, there's another one right there. And he came over and looked at it. Check it out. Got him. Oh no, no, <laughs> missed him. Ah, set the hook into the tree, shoot. Oh, we got it. Thank goodness we haven't lost a fly yet. Oh, got him. No, how'd I miss him? I watched him open and close his mouth. There he is, got him that time. Got him that time. Just saw this dude sitting in the shallows. Cast it over to it, he had it, I missed him. Then we flip back in there, get him again. That's another nice brook trout, a little bit bigger. Nice, heck yeah, that is a brook trout right there. On the pheasant tail, tied by Parley. Heck yeah. Yeah, dude, that is a chunky fish, super fat. Cool, cool. Fall brook trout on the fly. Yeah, that is not a bad fish for this pond. Cool. See ya. Oh, other way, other way, other way. There she goes. Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> I saw that guy cruising just right in front of me and I just flipped it out there and I watched him rise to it. Didn't think twice. There we go. That's another solid fish. I'll take it. 
God, this is so much fun when these brook trout are just fired up like this. Fall time, they're trying to get fat before winter and they're just willing to hit just about anything. Another pretty little brookie. That's a male, although he doesn't have like super vibrant colors like they usually do this time of year. All right. There he goes. All right, so we've caught a few fish with the pheasant tail and now I'm gonna switch to this little green looking deal. I don't really know exactly what it's supposed to imitate, but we're gonna try it. A lot of times brook trout don't get too picky. They just see something swimming around and they'll crush it. Got that. <laughs> he, he took it, just a little guy. But he ate the green caterpillar. We're just gonna call it that. Just flipped it by that log and this guy comes out. I don't even think he knew what he was eating. <laughs> there we go. That's just a little guy. There's a lot of little guys like this down there. <laughs> I'll take it though. All brook trout are good brook trout. I'll give him a little toss. See you later, buddy. No, dang it. I just casted right around that tree trunk and it wrapped like three times. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that fly out. It is lodged in there quite well. <sighs> We're gonna have to break it off, unfortunately. Yep, there it goes. Well, at least we caught a fish with it. It wasn't a total waste. We did catch a fish with it. <clears throat> oh, got him, got him. <laughs> There was three of them in that little group. When I cast it, I spooked two of them. And this little guy, the smallest one, he came over and ate it. And I did actually switch to a little white woolly bugger. Tied on the old faithful woolly bugger. And that got it done. Little guy. Get him off quick here and let him go. There we go, I think that's the fifth fish of the day. Not bad, not bad. Pop it out. Quick catch or release. Thanks for biting. And that's the woolly bugger that got her right there. This fly, like this individual fly, has probably caught me over 100 fish. I just haven't lost it yet, surprisingly. Got him. I did not even see that fish. There was another one swimming by it, and I was looking at her. And this little guy came out of nowhere. <laughs> We need some of the bigger ones I can see down there. I'll take it though, dude. A fish is a fish. We'll just get this guy off. We don't need the net. Oh, and he just popped off. See you later. Oh, got him. Nice. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Sight fished him. There we go. That is a pretty male. Good colors on him. Nope, get out of there, get out of there. Nice. This is one of the nicer ones. I sight fished him. I saw him sitting over there in the shallows, so I carefully walked out on this log. Didn't want to scare him. And then I just threw this woolly bugger right at him. And he ate it. Nice. That is a beautiful male brook trout. Probably has the best colors on any fish I've seen today. Oops, settle down, settle down. Not a huge one, but that is a pretty nice fish for this pond. Got him with that woolly bugger, and I am tempted to keep this fish because I'm wanting to cook one up, but I don't know if it's too early. I'm gonna just let him go for now. We might cook one, I'm not sure, but I don't know. I just wanna let this guy go. Oh gosh, <laughs> and there he goes, <laughs> just like that. Anytime I can't decide if I want to keep a fish or not, they usually make the decision for me. Got him. Got him. Nice. I threw it over to him and I actually scared him at first, but he saw what it was and then he tried to eat it. Cool. All right. It's definitely not fast action out here, but we're getting consistent bites. Like we're catching one every 15 minutes or so. There we go. Another nice one. Nice brookie. See ya. A 
Aside from the fishing being good, it is just a beautiful little afternoon to do some fishing. It's a quiet day, no wind. We got some snow on the hillside. It's just super peaceful out here. The fish are biting. Like this is just an awesome time to get out before winter. All right, folks, well, this was a fun little spot. Caught a good handful of brook trout. No giants, but then again, there's no giants in here. So fun little spot. We are gonna head to the next pond. But first, it is lunchtime. We've got some creamy macaroni and cheese. I'm usually not a big mac and cheese fan, but this was the cheapest one they had. Nine bucks, so mac and cheese on the menu. Most of this water bottle. Just boil that up quick. And I figure I might as well open up some packages while we wait. This first one's from Glade Goodrich, who I've actually talked to for a while over email. So we've got something wrapped up here. Ooh, check that out, folks. He sent us a little container with some spoons. That is sweet. Yeah, look at that. He sent us a handful of spoons and then a little note. Look goofy, but cast a mile, swim great, and catch fish. That is sweet. Rainbow trout spoons with a little feather with a single hook instead of a treble hook. We're going to have to give those a try. Well, thank you, Glade. And then next, we got this big package from Paul Manzone. We've got a little box here. We've got something. So leader. So leader gas fire wood stove yeah it's just a little camping stove and you put little twigs and sticks in it hmm that's so cool so yeah we'll have to try this out i've never used something like this it's probably really simple thank you so much paul macaroni and cheese baby i actually think this is going to be really good mm, it does smell pretty good i'm actually excited this was the cheapest one at the store hopefully that doesn't mean that it's like one of the gross ones Go ahead and pour it in the bag here. There we go, and I'll just stir it up. All right, now I'll just seal it up and let it cook. All right, so this should be done. I've been letting it sit for approximately 10 minutes. Looks interesting. Oh man. Hmm, that's pretty good. The noodles are slightly undercooked. I don't know why I let it cook for the correct amount of time. Yeah, pretty good. I'm usually not a mac and cheese fan, but this isn't bad. I mean, I'd rather have this honestly than a craft mac and cheese. We are gonna finish this up and then we're gonna head to one more pond. It's also got some little brook trout. Maybe, just maybe we might keep one or two of them. Do a little catch and cook. We'll just have to see. All right, here's the next little pond and I already spooked two nice ones off the shore right there. You can probably see the ripples. So they're definitely in here. Let's see what we can get. All right, I just got this little green woolly bugger. We're gonna toss this around. I mean, I've already seen like four fish and I've seen a few surface like right over there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting smoked by fish out there and they're totally missing it. Or I'm missing the hook set, I have no idea. But they're like swirling on it. Oh, had him. I had him, shoot. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I switched it up, I'll show you guys what I was using. Cause I got like, I got so many follows and takes with that woolly bugger, like they'd come up and swirl on it, but none of them, would commit to it, I guess. So tied on a little copper John. And that was the second cast with it. Look at that little guy. Now, if we wanted to keep this, we probably could. He is big enough. There's not many big fish in this pond at all. In fact, this is probably the average size, but it's the first one from here. So we'll let him go. Sweet. See ya. Oh, oh. Got him. Got him, another one. Oh, I think I might've snagged this guy. Or no, I no, I didn't. 
Either way, he went for it. No, I think I did. Shoot. I guess, yeah, I just got him right there in the back. Sorry about that, fella. <sighs> Pretty little brookie, though. Give her a gentle little toss. Later. Oh, missed him. Well, there's a nice one right there. Got him. Got him. Watched him pick it up. That's like one of the nicest ones I've seen down there. <sighs> I, I just let it sink to the bottom and I just waited for him to come over. He just picked it right up out of the mud. Now the question is, do we keep this fish? Because really, this is one of the biggest ones I've seen down there. If not the biggest. And of course, I don't have my net. I didn't think I'd be catching any big fish. We'll just grab him here. That is a solid brook trout for this pond. Holy cow. This might be bigger than anything we caught at that first pond. In fact, it definitely is. Oh gosh, we're sinking in the mud. We're sinking in the mud big time. Nice, there we go. Oh my goodness. That is a stud. <laughs> I've never caught or seen anything that big in here. That is crazy. This is definitely an older fish. On that Copper John. Just pop that hook out. That was cool. There he goes. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Oh, missed him. Dang it. That was a horrible hook set. I should have had that fish. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yep, got him. Got him that time. Just saw my line go. Nice. This is a good cooking candidate. Let's see. In fact, yep, we're going to cook this guy. I'm just going to flip him right on shore. Sweet. Heck yeah, that is a perfect little size for the pan. Just munched up that Copper John. Cool. All right, there we go. Pretty little brookie. We'll just set him right here in the snow while we keep fishing. Oh. There he is. There he is. <laughs> I was reeling it in because I was going to recast, but then I saw like the wake of the water behind him. So I just left it there for a second and he picked it up. Look at that. Beautiful. Sweet. Just give him a little toss. I would go down there to release him, but I mean, I literally sunk like a foot right there and I don't want to get muddy. Oh. Is he gonna do it? Got him. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. Look at that. So this side of the pond right here has got a thin layer of ice and, and I see this guy just sitting right there. So I dipped my fly right on the edge of the ice and he came over and grabbed it. And I actually got him on an ice cream cone chronomid. Oh, shoot. Darn it, sorry about that, buddy. It's like quicksand right here. I can't go out too far, look at that. Oh goodness. There you go. There you go. Now he's just chilling right there. All right, well, that was cool. First thing we need is some butter. First step to any good trout. We'll pull out our suitcase of seasoning right here got some Idaho spuds, rice aroni, but I think we're not gonna do anything fancy like that. All right, we haven't used this in a while. We got some Timber Ridge Rubs fish and fowl seasoning, and then we got some Johnny's seasoning salt. So we'll just mix these two together, should be pretty good. I haven't used this in a while. It is made by a subscriber and it's pretty good. So of course I will have it linked in the description. So we'll take our little brook trout, so cute. I will just season the inside with the Timber Ridge rubs, just like that. And then we'll take some Johnny's seasoning salt, just like that. All right, we'll sit them in there. There we go. 
In the meantime, folks, just look how beautiful it is out here. We got the river or the creek flowing right over here. There are fish in this creek. I believe there's brook trout and cutthroat trout. I could be wrong, but I mean, there might be some browns or rainbows. I don't know, but just so beautiful up through there. Give them a flip here. There we go. It's kind of curling up. Ooh, baby. Looking good, smelling good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a bite here. Just slide that meat right off the rib cage. Just like that. Fresh brook trout from the pond. Mmm. Missed a few bones. Yeah, missed a few bones, but that is good. It's got a almost a tougher texture to it, a little chewier. And I like that. I can taste that Timber Ridge rubs. That's really good. But it also just has a good flavor all on its own. Look at that. You've even got a little bit of skin on there. Heck yeah, dude. That's good fish. Good seasoning too. Timber Ridge rubs fish and fowl. I'm telling you guys, it's actually not bad. Just gotta add a little salt to it. Nah, we'll just eat this with our fingers. Who cares anymore? Just look at that. White flaky meat. There we go. Still got a little bit near the tail. Nothing better than this. Good afternoon of fishing. Cooking one up on the tailgate on a beautiful day. Last bite of trout. Heck yeah, dude. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Super fun afternoon out here. Caught a lot of nice brook trout from the pond and cooking one up on the tailgate to end the day. Can't get better than that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.